review sheet D question 6 tells us that this quadratic is just touching the x-axis. It's just sitting on the x-axis here and that is informing us that there's exactly one root or one solution to this. And that means that we're talking about a b squared minus 4ac again because we want exactly one root. This is going to equal 0. Now, confusingly, the b here is the a there, and so we've got a squared minus 4 times 1 times 9 equals 0. So a squared minus 36 equals 0. That's a difference of two squares, so we can factorise that. a minus 6, a plus 6. And so a is plus or minus 6. Um, there's a bit more we can do. So, um, so we've got... Um, what have we got there? 6x plus 9. And so that is just x plus 3 all squared. Or we've got the minus version here. Um, x squared minus 6x plus 9. And so this is x minus 3 all squared. So the one I've got here, that's crossing there at 3. That's this version here. Or I could put another version over here. Whoops, uh, and that crosses there at minus 3. These, I said whoops because these should have crossed at exactly the same point there, because they're both crossing there at 9. And I suppose, what do I notice from that? I notice there's some symmetry there. There's a line of symmetry down the middle. Um, that's what I notice about them.